Hi my dear children welcome back to your max class today we are going to continue the chapter how much of 100 by doing some activities from the textbook relating to percentage percentage is the given part or amount in every 100 for example 20 percentage of 80 20 percentage means 20 by 100 therefore 20 percentage of 80 is equal to 20 by 100 of 80 that is equal to 20 by 100 into 80 there are two zeros in both the numerator and the denominator therefore we have to cancel the two zeros from both the numerator and the denominator after cancelling the zeros we got 2 into 8 that is equal to 16 therefore 20 percentage of 80 is equal to 16 is it clear for you children activity number 1 see the ad shown in this picture 30 percentage of on all items 30 percentage of means if you purchase any item from the shop you will get a reduction of 30 rupees for every 100 rupees Sheila bought clothes worth 1800 rupees. How much should she pay? It is given in the question that the percentage of reduction is 30 percentage. Now, we have to find out the reduction in price. That is 30 percentage of 1800. That is equal to 1800 into 30 by 100. There are three zeros in the numerator and two zeros in the denominator we can cancel the same number of zeros from both the numerator and the denominator after cancelling the zeros we got 18 into 30 that is equal to 540 rupees therefore reduction in price is equal to 540 rupees therefore Sheila has to pay the amount after subtracting 540 rupees from 1800 rupees therefore amount she should pay is equal to 1800 minus 540 that is equal to 1260 rupees is it clear for you children next activity number 2 johnny save 15 percentage of his earnings each month in january he got 32000 rupees how much would he save it is given in the question that the amount he got is equal to 32000 rupees and the percentage of his savings is equal to 15 percentage therefore savings is equal to 32000 multiplied by 15 by 100 now cancel the two zeros from both the numerator and the denominator after cancelling we got 320 multiplied by 15 that is equal to 4800 rupees therefore the amount of savings is equal to 4800 rupees is it clear for you children next activity number 3 A TV manufacturer decides to raise price by 5% next month. The price of a model is 26000 rupees now. What would be its price next month? It is given in the question that the price of the TV is equal to 26000 rupees and the percentage of raise in price is equal to 5%. Now we have to find out the raise in price. that is we have to find out the 5 percentage of 26000 rupees that is equal to 26000 multiplied by 5 by 100 here there are three zeros in the numerator and two zeros in the denominator we can cancel only the same number of zeros from both the numerator and the denominator therefore cancel the two zeros from both the numerator and the denominator after cancelling the zeros we got 
260 multiplied by 5 that is equal to 1300 rupees. Therefore, the price of the TV next month is equal to 26,000 plus 1300 that is equal to 27,300 rupees. Is it clear for you children? Here are some homework activities for you. Do it well. That's all for today children. We shall continue our class on the next day. Okay. Thank you.